but it is less of a normal helpful tutorial for a Unity 3D. So today we're gonna do a um, tutorial about multiplayer and I got pretty many requests about that so I thought I might do a tutorial about it. Uh, it's a really basic tutorial and uh, yeah you're gonna learn uh, working with a master server and a direct connect. Uh, in this tutorial we're just gonna uh, cover the local host and after that we will solve that problem. So. Uh, I just I just spawned in a cube and then just reset in this position to zero. I'm making scale a bit better, bigger. Okay, just like this. Okay, you should have a camera. Uh, if you don't have a camera, then spawn one. But most of you guys already have a camera. Uh, make just make sure you have exactly one camera. Uh, other times you may gonna get some errors. Okay, just like this, and now add a uh, create an empty game object. Empty. Call this GUI or GUI doesn't really matter. And then you go to your uh, project, uh, your assets file. You download it. I'll put a link in the description where you can download this one. And there's a script connecting GUI master server. You just drag it to your empty game object and it should look like this. And there's standing, you must change this, change this, and call this server. Uh, I believe the port, we will cover that part later, but just leave the port. Okay, now we have to load a level. I'm gonna choose network low level. Uh, which level we're gonna load? We're basically gonna load a level that's already in this uh, assets. So that's the third person level, and save it. Okay, if you can see, there is something that's calling disconnect level, and it's called loader. Um, it should be already in here. And here it is. So it's basically going to load this level when it disconnect. But that's not really important now, right now. <clears throat> okay, if you have this, and you can hit play. See if everything works properly. If you have this, and this works, then everything is fine. And everything works. Okay, now you go to the third person level. Save this level. Um... Um, well, you basically should have something like this, and there is a direct connect GUI, and we have to resign just like this. Um, um, okay, now we should add a character. If you can see here, there's a game object. And if you see again, the script is missing. Um, you have to spawn player or spawn prefab. Just drag that script, and you drag the. Oh, delete this one. If you have a chat, just delete that one. That, that we will cover that part later in this video. Okay, now we have to add a player. So you go to the standard assets and first person controller. And yeah, I just want to wait. Just delete this one. Uh, I already made as a player. So what you're basically gonna do is you're gonna drag the first person controller into the scene. And you're gonna add some components to it. First component that you're gonna add is a rigid body. So we got physics, rigid body, add uh, components, masculation. And then network view. This is really important. If you leave this component, your player will not be visible in in the multiplayer. So if you want that, you just have to skip this part. But if you want it to other players to see your character, you have to add this component. Okay, now we're gonna drag it into an empty prefab, or just in the same prefab, or it doesn't really matter. Just drag it into a prefab, just like this. 
and then you go to your game object that you created uh, in the middle of the scene it should be there normally but if you, is it, if it isn't just create it and a little and you will add the spawn pre, uh, prefab script to it then you drag your player into this one and basically what what, do, what this will do is if you spawn on this level it will uh, spawn a player for you you have to do this if he doesn't do it it will not spawn any players so, so there will only be one player it will join okay save the scene and let's test it go to your server and no, wait. go to your server tree I think this is my yes this is one uh, so you hit the play button and start a server and it will ask you to go to the third person level and you'll just do that and you'll be able to move well if you can see spawn two players well it's kind of a bug but we will fix that oh no it, i think it's just the camera standing wrong yeah it's just the camera standing wrong because if you can see it moves with you so uh that's something went wrong with the player but if you can see everything works uh, if you can see uh, here, this is not important. Uh, disconnect doesn't really work properly. We'll solve that problem in a second. Basically, you go to your um, uh, go to your um, disconnect level and just add some of your level where you want to travel to. If it isn't disconnect, I'm not gonna make a new scene. Uh, for that, but if you want that, you can always do that. Now we're just gonna cover the only the basics. Um, so let's see. We will. So you just this disconnect level and just set this. Uh, what do we have to? Oh yeah, let me check the problem if it's normal. Well, I guess it is. Let's just checking for to be sure. Yes, this is, I think this is the problem. Holy crap. Okay. Just go to your server scene and test it if it if it were if it is working, start server per person. And if you can see only one player. So really make sure there's only one character. Okay, that's something weird, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, now let's test if, it, if it's really working. Just save everything. Save scene. Um, what basically you have to do now is you have to go to uh, build settings, check if all your levels are in it, and hit the build button. If you can see, you already did that. Um, I'm just gonna save it in here. Okay. Play. I'll minimize that. Close this. Go to your server scene. Oh, we're already in the server scene. Hit play and start a server. Choose third person and open your level up. If you can see now it's asking you to connect, you just hit the connect button. And it should be connecting right now. Okay, but it doesn't. Apparently, it doesn't connect. Oh no, here, here we are. Okay, it was just um, buggy. Uh, yeah, and it's not following me because I'm running it on the same computer. But normally, it shouldn't do that. Uh, so as you can see, everything works probably. The only thing is because we're working with a DirectNet and Master server, 
this server always need to be active to uh, require new things so if you can see now I cannot uh, there cannot be spawning new players if this server is not standing on um, because this is a master server we will may cover that later yeah guys here's the basics of multiplayer uh, we will in the next video I will teach you guys how to port forward and how to add disconnect see you then bye Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe as well.